Yes, Surah Al-Ma'arij we're going to do. And in this Surah, we're going to learn uh, the tafsir, detail of it. This Surah is uh, revealed in Makkah. means it is a Makki Surah. Surahs are Makki or Madani. And I told you in the starting classes what is Makki and what is Madani. So this is a Makki Surah. And in this, we're going to learn about uh, this Surah, Surah Al-Ma'arij. Surah Al-Ma'arij. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Sa'ala sa'ilum bi azabin waqi. A question I asked concerning a torment about to befall. So here asking, you know, sa'ala means asking question. For question it comes sa'ala. Sa'ilum means a question. Bi azabin, a punishment waqi, bound to happen. A supplicant asked for a punishment about to happen. And lil kafirina laysa lahu dafi. To the disbelievers of it, there is no preventer. Minallahi zil ma'arij. The word ma'arij has been mentioned in the third ayah of this surah. It is from Allah, owners of the way of ascent. Ma'arij is like, you know, ascending. Ma'arij is from mi'raj. Ta'ruju uh, al-mala'ika tubaruhu ilayhi fi yawm min kana miqdaruhu. The angels and the spirit will ascend to him during a day, the extent of which is 50,000 years. Means angels, they take something and they go, days of extent of which is 50,000 years. I'm going to explain that, okay? First day, Sabran Jamila. So be patient with the gracious patient. In the home, Yarounahu Baida. <coughs> Indeed, they see it as a distant. Vanara Nara U Koriba. Nara is from seeing, you know. They but it is very near. We will see what it meant. Yoma Takunu Sama Akal Muhil. On the day the sky will be murky oil. So, jibal, you know, and the mountains will be like a wool. Mountains like a wool, they are, you know, uh, going in the air. Because this is like a talking about day of judgment though. Uh, about a friend will ask and... And no friend will ask anything of a friend. Means nobody is helping each other though. So what here talking about you know. Here in this we will see. First a request to hasten the day of judgment. Sa'ala sa'ilu bi azabin waqi. A questioner asked concerning a torment about to befall. So the questioner is asking you know when this azab. Uh, is uh, just a minute so here uh, azab is the punishment Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying the punishment about the azab so sa'ala sa'ilum bi azab in a questioner asked concerning a torment about Befall. This ayah contains, assume, meaning that alluded by the letter ba. It as though it is saying a questioner requested to hasten uh, the torment that is about to fall. This is like you know, uh, kabi azabi uh, wada. and they ask you to hasten on the torment, and Allah fails not His promise. This is in Surah number 22, Ayah number 47. So, this is similar uh, to, you know, what has been mentioned just now. So, Allah is talking about how this azab, meaning that its torment will occur and there is no avoiding it. And we learn this Ibn Abbas concerning this ayah, Sa'ala Sa'ilum bi Azab in A questioner asked, questioning about what the torment. This is the questioning of the disbelievers. 
who is asking this question disbelievers are asking about the torment of allah and it will occur to them means a questioner ask a person call out requesting for the torment that will occur in the hereafter this was mentioned you know in uh, surah number 8 ayah number 32 oh allah if this is indeed the truth from you then rain down stone on us from the sky or bring on as a painful torment you know people when they are arrogant when they don't believe it they are actually asking for punishment azab allahumma in kana haza huwa al haqq min indika so so here uh, allah is talking about uh, you know oh allah if this is indeed truth from you then rain down stone on us from the sky or bring on us a painful torment they are asking for punishment waqi lil kafirin about to fall waqi means upon the disbelievers meaning it is waiting in preparation for the disbelievers uh, ibn abbas waqi means said laisa lahu dafi which not can avoid meaning there is no one who can repel if it's allah wants to happen so allah says min allahi zil ma'arij from the allah the lord of the ways of ascent ma'arij so here you know the lord of the ways of ascent means loftiness and abundance so the lord of the ways of ascent means the ways of ascension into the heaven so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says tarijul malaikatu wa ruhu ilai the angels of the ru the ta aruju to him means they ascend the angels are ascending means it this is reference to ru uh, means they are the creatures from the creation of allah that resembles human but they are not humans angels are not human it could be here it means jibril al islam this is the way of connecting uh, the specific to the general other ways so uh, so here allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about you know the, it could be that the jibril al islam or there is a way of uh, other angels or it could also be the name of souls arwa the children of adam al islam for here when the human souls are taken to death they are lifted up to the heaven so the meaning of the day the measure where of 50000 years you know the day the measure of that is like 50000 this is talking about the day you know how the day will be it's like you know 50000 years so allah says fi yawm in kana miqdaruhu 50 alf sana in a day the measure where of is of 50000 years so the day of judgment ibn abbas that he said fi yawm كان مقدار هو خمسين ألف سنة in a day the measured day of is fifty thousand it is a day of judgment so the here it is the day of judgment means it talks about the angels and the rule ascend to him measure of fifty thousand years so try to understand how much it will be like a fifty thousand years when the angels are taking any message or something it is the day of judgment that Allah has made to be measured. of 50000 years for the disbelievers and um, here in the hadith we learn that uh, this man is the wealthiest man of bani man of bani ami so abu huraira said bring him back to me so they brought the man back to abu huraira abu huraira said i have been informed that you are a man of a great wealth a man from bani ami replied yes by allah i have 100 red color camels 100 brown color camels and so on counted numerous color camels the races of the slaves and the types of fetters for his horses that he owned so abu huraira said beware of the hoofs of the camels and the cloven hoofs of the cattle he continued repeating to him until the color of man began to change the man said oh abu huraira what is this abu huraira replied i heard allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam saying whoever has camels and does not give their due zakat in najda and risal 
be interrupted saying oh messenger of allah what is that najda and result he said really this will come on the day of resurrection healthier than before they will be more in numbers fatter and more lively and ruly and they then a soft level pain will be spread out for them they will trample him their hoofs when the last of them has passed over the first of them will turn to trample him again during the day whose measure will be 50000 years that also we get another narration about 50000 years so the zakat we see you know they have to give zakat whoever so every one of them has cloven hooves and trample him with its hooves and so here also it is talking about when the last of them has animals among them and the last of them passed over the first of them will return to trample him again during a day whose measure will be 50,000 years so there also we get the you know 50,000 years and also we learn that the, uh, there is not any owner of treasure who does not pay its due except that it will be made to heated metal like you know people if they are not giving zaka the heated metal will be on their forehead okay girls got it if they are not paying zaka his forehead side and back will be scrooged with the metal plates and this will continue until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala judge between his servants on the day whose measure is 50,000 years of what you count and then he will see his path either to Jannah or to the hellfire and then we learn that in this different narration uh, has been mentioned uh, instructing uh, the prophet to have patience you know first day sabran jamila so be patient with a good patient meaning be patient O Muhammad sallallahu with your people yani they are doing rejection and seeking to hasten the torment since they think it will not occur why prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is upset he allah is saying don't get upset have sabr patience because people are asking for the punishment it's not a good thing so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also mentioned in surah number 42 ayah number 18 those who believe not they seek to hasten it while those who believe and are fearful of it and know that it's very truth girls try to understand this surah you can do that later okay and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says they say it's torment uh, and uh, after of meaning the happening of day of judgment is near but people are asking okay we want you know punishment right now so uh, prophet sallallahu is feeling very sad so Allah is saying have sabr don't worry and that's the reason here Allah is uh, saying that meaning the happening of torment and establishment of the hour the day of judgment that disbelievers see this as something that is uh, far-fetched the word ba'id here means that which is impossible to occur and banarahu qariba Allah says don't think it's like very far it's going to be near what near punishment because people are asking for punishment so we see you know quite near meaning the believers believe that it occurrence is near even though its time of occurrence is unknown and no one knows when it will be except Allah all of it is approaching then it's near and it will definitely happen okay this is a azab this is a punishment that's going to happen yawma takunu sama kal muhid wa takunu al jibalu kal hind so what will happen on the day of judgment the day the sky will be like a muhal like a you know how the wool will be wool can uh, you know go with the air right the mountains will become like a wool on the day of judgment what is a wool? wool wool like you wool. know cotton like sheep no not 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 that sheep like this is cotton but like anything lighter anything lighter like okay. Yeah, can yes. Make it like a, like you make it into like a sweater. Yes. Yes. Like you know that one thing which we make sweater. That's the thing. Yes. That's correct. That's the right way to say. So yama takuno samay kal mohel. The day the sky will be like a mohel, like a you know the wool. It will be flowing away in the air. The mountains, giganting mountains are you know. And the mountains will be like a, wow, you know, it's, yeah, 
and wala yes alul hamim or hamima because these people they are asking for punishment so allah is saying you know you are asking for punishment it's going to happen and on the day of judgment everything is going away and and no friend will ask a friend uh, uh, and also though they shall made to see one another so you basaruna hum wa yaudu mujrimul and you see that day the mujrim how they will be the do, like friends are not friends and you basaruna hum and they will be made to see each other yawdul mujrimu law yaftadi min azab yawma izim bi bani like they will be shown each other the criminal will wish you know he could be ransom from the punishment that day by his children you know the criminal people here they are saying okay if we can give something and we can escape from the punishment can they do that they are giving away any kind of you know uh, treasure or money anything but they can't be safe from the punishment allah says so wa sahibati wa akhi and his wife and his brother they they are literally want to give anything like family or any kind of money treasure but can they be safe from the punishment no they are not safe from the punishment wa fisalitihi allati tuwi and his nearer kindred who shelter him and wa min fil ardi jamian summa yunji whoever is on the earth entirely so that it could save him so in this sura you know allah subhanahu wa taala clearly talking about a, a supplication ask for a punishment bound to happen so when they ask they ask for punishment means they are asking bi yadihi uh, yani uh, they are asking for the punishment to the disbeliever so there is no preventer and this ma'arij remember allah subhanahu wa taala Uh, is of high levels he is exalted ala highest ali so mutaal and here zoom ma'arij he is high and exalted in every way in his attributes in his power he bestow favor on us or he is high the angels the ayah number 4 the angels and the spirit will ascend to him during a day the extent of which is 50000 meaning the distance in human time allah subhanahu wa taala has described like 50000 but nothing of people is hidden from him so prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is comforted here because your enemies deny you and oppose you but they cannot harm you so allah is saying first first day sabran jamila so be patient with the patient like you know do the sabar don't worry they are bad or me in nahum yaraw nahum baida indeed they say it distant but we see it near on the day sky will be like a murky oil meaning the color and the appearance of the sky will be transformed you know how the sky color will be girls the sky will be like you know when you uh, sometimes when we fry the uh, french fries in the oil after that have you noticed the oil how it becomes muddy color that's how the sky will be and the mountains will be like a wool and the friends will ask each other the friends you know we want help from our friends right friends are asking each other can you help me can you help they are saying no we can't help and they will be shown each other like you know they are criminals these people are on bad people they did bad things they are telling each other to bad they did bad and nobody is saving them This was the Suratul Ma'arij. So we stopped uh, this surah at ayah number.